Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Natalie and my channel is all about fashion, vintage, luxury, and styling. So if you're interested in any of those, please consider hitting the subscribe button below. And today I have a Chanel collection video. So it's gonna be all of my accessories and shoe collection. So the first category in my vintage Chanel collection I'm gonna share is my belt collection. So I have three vintage belts by Chanel. And the first one I got was this gold one. And I'm gonna insert photos so you guys can see how I style them. And if you don't already follow me on Instagram, you definitely should. I'll pop it up on the screen and also link it down below. But this is the first one I bought. So if you can see up close, it's a gold vintage Chanel belt. And what I love about this one, so I got this probably three or four years ago over on eBay. And the price was actually somewhat reasonable compared to what they are now um, because it was like before Chanel started doing more of like the 80s, 90s style, bringing it back. So they weren't as sought after, but I've always loved that era of Chanel. Um, I just think it was so glamorous. I feel like I grew up seeing that and just being like, wow, the supermodels look amazing. It's like the era of the supermodels. So. They always wore this chunky gold jewelry and so I've always been attracted to this and I finally found one I loved. I love the open CC on the bottom so that hangs um, and it has another CC here on the side and I love the bright gold and even after all these years, I mean it's definitely had some tarnishing tiny bits um, but overall it's in really good condition. And again, I said I um, got it from a Japanese reseller on eBay. I'll link a few of my favorites below if you're interested in checking them out. But yeah, this was the first in my collection and probably the one I used the most. So the second Chanel belt is, if you can see, it has black enamel CCs and one on that end too. So when it's clasped, it's all three together. And I will show a picture again of this, but I got this belt actually for my anniversary last year and my husband surprised me with it and I honestly had no idea he bought it. Um, he follows me on my Instagram and I always share vintage finds in my stories. When I see something I love, I'll share it um, for you guys to buy. So always be watching my stories to make sure you don't miss out on any really great finds. But I saw this belt and I had just purchased, um, if you can see my Chanel train bag up there. So I'd already just made a big purchase and I saw this belt and I was like, oh my gosh, I love this belt. It was like for a pretty somewhat reasonable price for Chanel belts. I mean, definitely the price has gone up on them, um, but it was still like within somewhat reasonable. It was from Luxury Promise. And so I linked it and said, oh, I wish I could buy this, but I just bought my other bag. So someone else buy it before I do. And little did I know, he was the one who actually bought it for me. And he surprised me. I think he bought it probably like two months in advance. And so when I opened up my anniversary, I was like, oh my gosh. Um, I was so surprised and he did a good job. So ladies, hints, they work. So always give your husband hints if you want something specific for an occasion, but I love this one. Um, it's really fun styling. I also love wearing it as a necklace, which I'll insert a picture of that as well. But another really versatile one and a silver one for my collection. In my most recent belt, and I actually just shared this um, in a haul I did recently. If you didn't check that out, um, I will link that also. But in one of my most recent hauls, I shared this woven leather vintage Chanel belt. And I picked this up from Old Soul Vintage Jewelry. It was from her personal collection. And I love it. I love the silver. I love that it's a little bit shinier, the way it's cut. It has the CC on the end. And I love the tan woven leather throughout it. And it's still like nice and dainty. It's not too thick. Um, so it's perfect on the waist. It's adjustable. That's my favorite thing about these chain belts is they're adjustable. So. Um, more so than a leather belt where you'd have to punch more holes. These you can kind of attach anywhere. So really perfect. And I haven't gotten a chance to wear this yet because it doesn't fit around my waist at the moment being pregnant, but I cannot wait to style this one up as soon as I'm not pregnant anymore. 
So this is the latest one in my collection. So another accessory in my collection from Chanel is this gorgeous vintage Chanel scarf. So it's in a silk material, has a Chanel there. And I actually snagged this on eBay um, a while back. And it was before that collection came out um, that Chanel kind of reintroduced a lot of these kind of jeweled looking pieces. So again, I think I got a pretty good price on this. But if you can see up close, you can see the little CCs woven throughout the material. Super pretty. I really love this scarf. And um, there's so many ways to use scarves. Honestly, um, I did a reel over on my Instagram. You should go check that out. I style this a ton of different ways from on the head to wearing it as different style tops to a bandana. Um, I love styling scarves like these. And for Chanel, they're usually pretty reasonably priced. You can find them. Um, if I can find any similar ones, I will definitely link those. So check the description box. And yeah, just a great classic piece to have in your wardrobe. So I have five pairs of Chanel shoes in my collection and all of them I bought pre-loved and all of them I think are technically vintage except for one pair. Um, so I'll start with the one pair I've shared most recently. It's these Chanel slides. So I ended up keeping these. If you remember seeing my unboxing video, um, they ended up being missing the CC on the side, but I decided it wasn't that noticeable anyways. I got a pretty good deal on them. Um, so I kept them and honestly, I've been reaching for these all the time already. They're so comfortable, um, easy to wear and kind of go with everything. And I love the deep navy color. They're really pretty. Um, I will show you try ons of all these shoes and all of them I actually got on the real real. So um, I just find they're the easiest to shop for shoes because you can sort by size, by brand, and they have a huge selection. So you can always like browse in there or set reminders. Um, so always be checking new arrivals, but yeah, I love these ones. So these are the first ones up and then I have these beautiful, fun, gorgeous Chanel raffia sandals. Um, they have a wooden CC on the front if you can see, and they are real woven raffia. It's not just fabric that looks like that. Really pretty. Um, came in pretty good condition, honestly, um, except the back of the heels here. So this one got worn, as you can see, just a little bit. And I really need to take these to the cobbler because this shortly after, just from trying on for photos, because I haven't actually worn these out, I don't think. I got these like right before pandemic hit. So I haven't been able to actually wear these out anywhere. So sad, but I need to get that replaced on the bottom there. But other than that, hardly anywhere. Um, you can also get shoes resold too. So something to keep in mind if you are shopping for pre-loved shoes, um, as long as they're overall in decent condition, there's a lot of things you can do to restore them. So like adding new bottoms on these shoes, um, you can replace the caps. Um, yeah, so I just need to get that done. But otherwise I love these shoes so much. They are so pretty and perfect for summer. Next up, I have these Chanel mules. Um, these are pretty cool because they are actually like, um, like a Jersey material and they have kind of that signature CC um, quilted look to them. And they have tiny little CCs on the front and bows. So really pretty, I love these. Um, again, I think I got a pretty good price for these and that's why I ended up picking them up. I got them uh, maybe two years ago. And the only thing is they have just a tiny bit of wear on this shoe at the top. Um, and they had been, they no, they weren't resold, but they had toe taps put on the bottom, which I think is supposed to protect the front of the shoe, but they are kind of annoying because when you walk it like clinks. So I don't know if there's something I can do to replace those or maybe get like not metal. There's a different type. I need to take these in too and see if there's something I can do to make them a little bit less noisy when I use them. But I have worn these once or twice and they are so, so pretty. Um, I just love uh, this shape. It's so classic. And yeah, so these are my next pair of Chanel shoes. So this pair of Chanel shoes, I don't know if I, I barely featured these, I feel like on my Instagram. 
Um, they are really pretty. Um, they're flats and they have these milias going around the ankle. Just so pretty. And then they have the little CCs on the side. Really, really cute. Um, they just tie and adjust at the back. Um, I definitely have worn these a couple times. And what I love about them, obviously, is the detail on the ankle. Um, but I do have to be careful, I feel like, with things that go around my ankle, personally, because I am on the shorter side, it does cut my leg off a little bit. So I do have to be careful with what I wear with these. I typically wear these with like shorts, so like shorter shorts um, or shorter dresses because I find that way at least I have a little bit of a longer leg. But really cute, again, from The Real Real. And I think I need to get these resold also on the bottom, but otherwise, super cute. And the last pair of Chanel shoes in my collection are these slides, which I feel like I always get the most comments on every time I wear them and I love them. They are really pretty. Um, they were a great score. I don't know how I ended up finding these because um, ones like these are so hard to find, honestly. And they were my size. It was right around Christmas time. So it was a Christmas present to myself, treating myself. And yeah, really great condition for being white and on the older side. I love the stacked heel. Um, and I love the black and white. The only thing I'd say about these is they aren't the most comfortable slides. This part is pretty rigid with the leather. So they do get uncomfortable if you walk for too long and they are pretty hard on the bottoms. So that's the only thing. They're not super, super comfortable, but I do still love them. I love the look. So beauty's worth the pain sometimes, right? But yeah, I love these ones. All right, this is my future self popping in because as I'm editing my video, I realized I didn't include my Chanel boots because they were kind of put away for the season. So I wanted to quickly show you guys these boots. Um, they're a moto style boot I got on the Real Real. I picked these up last fall. And what I love about them is this nice classic style. They have kind of a squarish toe, but not overly square. Um, just a super classic boot. I feel like they'll never go out of style. I love the asymmetrical zip and they have the little CC on the back on both of them. And these are so comfortable. The heel height's very low, as you can see. So really, really comfortable, nice and like wide. Um, I mean, I have a narrow foot, so I guess I'm not the best um, indicator of a wide foot, but for me, they have plenty of room. They are true to size and I love them. You can see the little Chanel here too. Really great. Um, I can just slip in and out. I don't have to actually use the zipper, but really cute. So I'll show you the try on, but those were my Chanel boots. And I just want to talk about a couple of quick tips to buying pre-loved shoes. I used to be kind of scared of it and I'm sure a lot of you are too, just cause you just, I don't know, feet can be weird, right? Like wearing someone else's shoes. Um, but a couple things I just keep in mind when I am shopping for pre-love shoes, I usually try to find them in like pretty good condition. So I don't usually want to get ones that are too beat up because honestly, I'm not well enough versed in taking them to a cobbler and getting them fixed myself. So I'd rather them be just having minor things that needed adjusting or no adjusting at all. Um, and always pay attention to the sizes. So depending on the brand, um, your size might change. I'm usually pretty much always a 37 in Chanel. Um, and in most shoes in general, I'm usually a 37. Uh, I know sometimes people say Chanel runs small. So definitely if you could ever try some on before you buy, that's always a great option. Or make sure when you are buying them, um, some are, you can return for full refund and sometimes they're final sale. So you wanna make sure you're not gonna buy the wrong size. And another thing to look out for, is just kind of the overall wear. So if you feel like this, the inner part is really, really rubbed down and gone, you probably can tell that these were more worn than if it's like almost perfectly showing on here, cause that will rub over time. And on the bottoms, you know, the more wear is obviously the more that they've been beaten down. So I also look for shoes that if you feel like they're really worn down, especially on one side, you know, some people walk more in or out on their feet and they're more worn. You don't really necessarily want a shoe like that, but um, really with high quality shoes like Chanel or some of the other designer brands, a lot can be done to restore them. So just something to keep in mind when you are shopping for pre-loved shoes. 
So those are all my Chanel accessories. I do have a couple ready to wear pieces that are vintage. Um, if you want me to share those, I can do a separate video for that. So let me know in the comments below. And I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like this video and comment below and let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see next. And thank you for watching. Bye.